Hello everybody, and this is Axfield Gamer here. Thank you for joining me. We are playing Anno 1800, and we are going to go through this game as we wait in anticipation for the new DLC coming out, Empire of the Sky. So what we want to do with our first episode today is we want to see uh, if we can get all the necessities that the work class need. So we want to build them up right away to establish all the needs and fortunately I got an amazing island right here from the start. So what I tend to do is I tend to settle here right on the edge so that we can leave enough space for the docklands as well as the public mooring which will come a little bit later. So let's just set up the warehouse right here at the tip. Your city has grown more beautiful. And then my second step what I want to do is I lay tracks keeping about two blocks open for the railways. Um, so the reason why I keep two tracks open is that the railways we want to keep two tracks going from into both directions. Uh, when your city gets very busy it can actually get bogged down quite quickly so we want the trains to have like a free flow going up and down so I want to try and space them out uh, with the power station so you kind of like have to guess where you want to place the road leaving two spots open in between the tracks so let's just do that right away Okay, perfect. That should do it for this part. Um, I'm not going to bother with the rest of the island for now uh, because it actually takes a lot of wood just to build the bridges. So I'm guessing I want to start building the lumberjacks right here. I can maybe do about three or four of them. And then of course we do need the workers to man these lumberjack stations which we'll get right into just build it right about there and then what I also tend to do is I build about 8 houses on the block you reached a new milestone and what I feel like is creating blocks with these spaces it kind of like leaves you enough space to if you want to remove the houses and you want to build let's say building service buildings for the artisans for the engineers uh, you want to build service buildings uh, right where you place the villagers houses so then that leaves enough space for you to allow you to build the service buildings without changing any of your roads just basically moving the houses so it does make it easier for us in the future another two yeah now uh, we're going to leave that little space there for the pub, which we'll set up very soon. And what I tend to go do is I go to Archibald. He's got resource available from the start, which you can purchase. What a jolly, jolly surprise! And so you can see there, he's got about 11 pieces of timber for me. And then also, if you get quests from the NPCs, it's good to do them right away. It's very easy money. I can't promise. Glad you find it exciting. So here, for example, with Madame Kahina, we've got one box of flotsam that we need to collect for, which is pretty much right next to our island. So yeah, that's a very easy picking. I think I should maybe do that right away. <coughs> As we are going sailing to Archibald. We put our love into this. Oh, this house is nearly too far. Can maybe build it a little bit closer. And also you'll see here, uh, it's about 88% uh, effective. And I found that if you build your production buildings and it's 80% plus uh, production, running at production speed, I would say that's a good speed um, for any uh, primary production service building. And 
this is just such a beautiful game with all the visuals all the details you can see right in to every little detail Alright, so we've got the flotsam, we're going to take that right away to Madame right Pina. Up. I think what I maybe want to do for now is just get another lumberjack up and running. With another sawmill. Nope, no pub yet. Can maybe start with the fisheries. I feel two fisheries is quite good enough to get you going right at the start. You have something for me. I forget. What it's like to Thank you very much. have it on my hands. <coughs> Oops, oh, I forgot to link this lumberjack to the road. There we go. We're gonna set up the fisheries very soon. I would just like to change the name of this island. I'm not even sure how to pronounce that. It's I think it's Norwegian. So let's maybe change it. Where did you start? Silver Streams. I think that's a very nice name for the island. So let's call it Silver Streams. And this will be our capital. I can finally let go that pent up gas. Duty Oof, done. Little bit overshare. Time. <laughs> you reached a new milestone. Okay, now we're getting quite a good production of the timber. So after the fisheries, what we want to also get is the clothing framework knitters which I'll do a little bit further up on the other side of the island I want to try and move as little buildings as possible hi, hi. okay now we can really get some momentum here yeah? so now they want to pop Your go. love and kindness. And one thing I tend to forget is building the fire stations and also the police stations. So that's just one thing you've got to always uh, take in consideration is that you've got these fire stations pretty much scattered all over your island. Doesn't matter which part or which uh, map you've got unlocked, a fire station is pretty much a necessity on every map. Okay, so let's see if there's any other tasks for us. Nope, nothing from Eli, nothing from Archibald. Maybe just go and fetch some more timber here. While we wait. Um, I think for now let's maybe set up the framework knitters on this side. We'll have to move them. Let's just get it going from on this side.
So now with the Empire of the Sky DLC coming out, what we do know about the DLC so far is that they are going to create commuter ports uh, for the New World, which is what I've been waiting for pretty much from the start of the game when it was launched. Um, and then also obviously we're getting more what means of transport through the air and possibly air warfare. Uh, there has been talk about it, uh, but yeah, we'll see. I'm very excited to jump into that and we should be able to get access to Empire of the Sky probably within the next two weeks. I know not everybody is fond of the blocks but it does make it easier to manage everything and it kind of looks pretty for me at the same time. So we've got pretty much all the basic necessities going Every for the farmers. I think we can look at making a schnapps production somewhere. Try to make it more to the other side. You can make better what I've summoned to put before a townsperson. Love these quests. So easy. I wish I'd a goose for your kindness. Flagship at your service. Okay, so I think what I want to do is maybe get the snaps production right at the back. And we're still waiting for some more timber. Let's pull it right through. We can leave a gap for the railways. Okay, so we want to keep this part open just to give enough space to plot a warehouse and then also if we do want the glass production uh, then we've got the space to do that here on the side or if you want to build world storage or normal storage uh, we just keep this part open okay so I'm gonna start right away with the schnapps maybe do it like this we need a fire station, they tend to blow up things a lot at the schnapps distilleries. Let's maybe do about three of these potato farms, three schnapps productions, and let's make it pretty, add some trees, there we go, right. And then we can fields start laying help. down the potato fields. I'll do. There we go. So that's a good amount to start with. This is the three potato farms with the three schnapps. So they take the same time to produce the potatoes as it takes to produce the snaps so it's one versus one on the ratio Flagship awaiting instructions. We maybe need another warehouse on this side there we go okay new orders see if we can get some more timber here from Archibald no new quests Right, so I think we are ready to upgrade our first former houses. Start like a new milestone. I need a little bit more farmers. Oh. 
Honest work, that's all we ask. Okay, so we've got our first workers in here. So the next thing we want to do is to get the sausages, the bread and then the soap. The schnapps production will start very soon. And what's really nice is we've got the oil production right here, which I'm maybe considering doing the harbour here, where our main warehouse is, and just shift everything slightly across. We've got seven oil springs, and that's really good to have that on a starting island. Most of them you get six or maybe five, so seven is really great. For now, is I'm going to build big farms right here. So we do want to leave enough space here for the silos, which we'll also get very soon. Slaughterhouses. That should do the trick. And we've got a new quest here from Archibald. Pull up your braces <coughs> and thrust into the unknown. Righty ho. So he wants bricks, but I oh, just as badly want bricks. So he's got to wait for that one. Okay, let's get going. We've got our big farms up and running. You reward our art craft. Schnapps is going full steam. And we can build more worker houses. Attention for the Admiral. No other quest. Nope. On our way. I'm gonna sail back to Archibald. He should be dropping bricks at any moment, which we do need. Build the clay pit right away. Start producing our own bricks. We'll eventually have to move all of this so that we can make space for more residential houses. Let's just expand this whole area. I like being oppressed. Right at the start, if you build three fisheries, you've got three framework knitters and three schnapps distilleries. That will keep you going for quite a while and you can expand your population to probably about a thousand and thousand five hundred I would say. And then you might need some more fisheries and production buildings if it's all worker class or farmer class rather. Let's just speed up this whole thing. Ok, 
Okay, so Archibald started dropping the bricks now, which we need. New orders? Uh, for the slaughterhouses and then also for the silos. Our brickworks is going. I've just started. You reached a new milestone. Waiting for the boat to arrive. We still need to build the slaughterhouses here. And what I think we can do now is we can start with the grain farms. Let's build it right away. So you basically need two grain farms for every mill. So we're going to set up two flour mills. And then we'll set up a third flour mill, which will basically be the fe feed uh, for the pigs. And that in return will boost the production with another 100%. It's all prepared. And so the silos are pretty handy if you just want to save on your population and keep them open. So then it's easier to upgrade. Our patron is utterly genius. To upgrade your residential house. Really? So we've got a mill, and then for every mill, it can support about two bakeries. For the Admiral. I think I'm gonna go right away and get some more stuff from Archibald. But let's see what Eli's got here for us. Why not share some of my game? A tiny crack of light. See, yeah, uh, this is a nice mission. So everything is r close to his harbor. So Ford, that's quick money him. for us. station on this side. I personally feel the range could have been a little bit more on the fire stations. I'm just gonna delete this. Failed? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry man. We need the bricks more than you. Churchy. I think I'm gonna place it around about here. It's pretty central. And then it's time to upgrade some more houses. Ok, 
Okay, let's just drop this off. Have your investigation closed. And let's see Fail. if we can get some more resources from Archibald. He's also giving us the steel beams now. Which will help us building the breweries. Time. I know you're busy, but I have They just explained to us how to build the silos. And we're fine with that. Help us out, will you, boss? Spare a thought for us. Six bricks. Yeah, you got it. Let's hear it then. Cure! Oh, a that's very good. Kept. Not that I'm going to go into warfare, but they will be great to sell. And that will just give us a little bit of cash going forward in the early game. Once you reach the art artisan level, you actually start to expend get a lot of expenditures so we want to try and build up as much capital as we can right off the bat plotted. okay so our timber is looking really good at this stage so we can build some more farmer houses and then at the same time we can upgrade these former houses okay so now we have access to all the need buildings gonna just complete these buildings the flour mill as well as the bakery then we can start bringing in the bread and these warehouses get very quickly bogged down the first tier warehouses if you've got the second tier or higher you're pretty much okay and everything runs smoothly from there on forward and then what I think I'm going to do is on this side here by the slaughterhouses we're going to build more big farms as well as the rendering works and the soap factory so we can do that right away what brings you here master There's our rendering works, so we pretty much need two rendering works for every soap factory. So we've got that going there, and here's our soap factory, and we are good to go. So that should be able to start producing soap very soon. I think we can build a silo for our first big farm. There we go. This is booming. So we just want to see that they get the bread and the soap need fulfilled. I think we should be have enough for the next silo. Yeah, we do. Let's upgrade the silo now. Got a new task here from Madame Kina. Let's see what she gives. And especially if let me know when you've done the deed. Yeah, so we've got to pick something up here from her clipper. You're flourishing. So 
So you can see our bread is slowly filling up on this side. Look sharp, the governor's here. And there is our first soap also coming in. And thank you so much you guys for following this channel. If it's your first time here, please press the like and subscribe button and join us in the next episode where we will upgrade our city to the artisan level. And thank you so much and I'll see you very soon. Bye bye.